Good morning, everybody. I'm finally going to do an update on how it's going with this no salt, no sugar challenge. Um, today is day four. I haven't uploaded anything yet because I've been having technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm not very good with technology, but I'm getting to grips with it. So I'm using a different device this time. Um, yeah, so day four. Uh, I haven't been sleeping very well, as I posted before. Um, insomnia bit of a topic um basically i did some research on it and um we have this body clock and basically every organ has a different time period where it does its repair work usually during our sleep um and the liver kicks in at between one and three a.m in the morning um and i've been waking up bang on two and from the research I've been doing, um, it says that um, two o'clock is the time when you should be at your most deepest sleep. And that's exactly when I'm waking up, like on the dot, two o'clock every night. It was same last night. Um, but doing some research on that, I'm going to post some tips for how you know that your liver isn't really functioning very well. Um, because we need our liver and other organs as well to flush these toxins out of our bodies if we're doing a detox so that's why it's very important that we do it um, gradually we don't push ourselves to um, do something that's going to um, compromise um, our body's ability to get rid of those toxins there's no point releasing toxins if you can't get them out of your body and that's why it's important to have a clear bowel um, so doing a bowel cleanse is very good um, as a first point of call if you're going to do a detox um, I've done a couple of bowel cleanses um, over the space of my health journey, um, so I can share what I've um, taken for that, like a mixture of different herbs. Um, but again, I think it's really good for everybody to go at their own pace and not to push yourself, because that's my point number two. So liver is one, causing the insomnia. And point number two is spleen. Can you see? Sorry, I'm just sticking my tongue at you. <laughs> Can you see the teeth marks on my tongue? Here and here. I've had this for a long, long time, and I've known that it's my spleen. The tongue becomes swollen, and so it's as if there's less, there's not enough room in your mouth for your tongue. But it's showing that your spleen is compromised, that it's burdened, um, and I've known that it's an issue. So I was doing some research on that as well at three in the morning <laughs> this morning how to fix your spleen, how to, um, what kind of treatments you can do to improve your spleen. Oh, sorry, just going back to the sleep. Um, acupuncture is very good for harmonizing the liver. So I might go for a, an acupuncture um, appointment just to reset my, my liver so that it's, okay, this is the program I'm supposed to be running and it will go back to its, its program. Um, I had a friend actually who went for acupuncture recently for insomnia and my friend's husband and um, and it worked really well for him. He slept. You might have to go back again um, because the body, it can get set into a wrong pattern of um, functioning and so we do need to reset ourselves um, depending on what kind of stress we're under, you know, what kind of stressors are around us um, and what we're inflicting on ourselves with a detox. So um, the spleen, go back to the spleen. Um, your spleen basically is a sign that you're pushing yourself too much. And this is a lifelong problem of mine. <laughs> um, so again, I'm gonna post some pictures and some um, tips for how to boost your spleen, how to relax, allow yourself to relax, don't make yourself feel bad for relaxing not having a list of things to do and pushing yourself to get that list done, otherwise you're a big failure, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's it for today really. Um, other than that, I've gone off coffee. I've been having a coffee every day and feeling like it, but I've got my little jar of herbal tea here. And what I like to do with my herbal tea is put a couple of different tea bags in. Like I'll put one with fennel, then I'll put a fruit one to bring it make it a bit more sweet and my good friend gave me this tip thank you Christina um, and it's a really nice way to 
hydrate. I think I haven't been drinking enough either, and um, you need to stay hydrated. I drink my herbal tea, and I like to drink coconut water. Um, they're my drinks of choice, but find something that you like um, to drink to go along with this detox, I think would be good. So um, no weight loss within the last 24 hours. I'm the same weight as I was this time yesterday. I'm not really into weighing myself, but I'm just interested because of this process. You know, I've been flabbergasted by two kilos in three days, <laughs> but now it's plateaued. So that's okay. Maybe it's a sign that I've lost as much water as I can for now. Um, but other than that, I'm feeling okay, apart from feeling tired from lack of sleep. Um, still no cravings, you know? I just think that if you stop eating sugar, stop eating salt, then you break the cycle. I think that if you, like I love salt, forget sugar because that's not really my thing, but maybe sugar's your thing. Um, I love salt, crisps, um, savory snacks, spicy, savory, flavoursome food, very, you know, strong flavours. Um, I like foreign food, Indian food, Caribbean food, um, all the food that's really tasty, Chinese food, um, Japanese food, sushi, you know, all that stuff. Um, but if you stop eating salt, I think your cravings just naturally go away because you need, you need it to feed it. So if I stop eating salt today, then I'm not craving salt tomorrow. Um, but bearing in mind, I have been doing interval fasting for the last six to nine months. I forget exactly how long it's been. Um, so I'm used to putting my hunger off. And I think not everybody will feel that way because if you're doing this, not having done any other kind of detox ever, I think you probably will get cravings. Um, uh, I feel a little bit like I did when I was going vegan and I had loads of cravings. I was craving meat, I was craving cheese, I was craving everything, but I was doing too much. I was doing juicing, um, trying to fast, uh, not having anything that I like to eat, <laughs> having to learn how to re how to cook. Um, and it was difficult, I, it was too much. So I would say pace yourself. Um, yeah, and I, I'm gonna share as well what uh, sleep remedies you can maybe take. I've been taking um, something, um, just liquid uh, valerian. I'll post a picture. Um, also you can take melatonin, melatonin spray or melatonin tablets. I like the spray because it's just more natural and the tincture because it's more natural. I don't like taking tablets with loads of fillers put in them um, and gelatin and all that kind of stuff. But um, what else? I think that's it for now. So I'll leave you with that and I'll give you another update hopefully tomorrow and I'll have a new device. <laughs> have a good day everybody and speak to you soon. Bye.